G'day guys. We've all got a mate who loves to tell you what a sweet deal they got. And he usually goes along the, along the lines of, hey, I got a hot water system installed on the weekend, guess how much I paid for it. And then when you're lowballing and say, I don't know, 50 bucks, they usually get quite upset and say, well, how can a hot water system be installed for 50 bucks? You know, be realistic. Look, the thing is, there's, there's three questions you can ask them, especially when they're dealing with a licensed trade like an electrician or a plumber, that can make them understand really if they got a good deal or not. G'day, I'm Ben from Beautiful Plumbing. Hey listen, um, so those three questions are, is especially mainly with a licensed trade like a plumber electrician. First one is, did you get an invoice? Did they give you a receipt? And did you get a completion and compliance notice? Because if you didn't get those three things, then they're probably one that's been ripped off, you know? Well, this is a situation, the hot water system here has, has been, uh, it's not working, it's leaking. So I've come out to have a look to see, you know, about replacing a new one. Now if you look online, you know, they're about 1,500 bucks. But the trouble is, back in the day when it was done, it wasn't done correctly. There's no receipt, no invoice, and there's no compliance badge or anything on the job. So I'll just give you an example. Like from, the, from the meter box to the hot water system is about 18 meters, okay? But in the middle of the house, there's a kitchen, and this um, like patio's been built in, and it's been extended out, and there's a, a new, um, like fairly new, big 900 sort of commercial looking stove in there, which is about, 40, 50 megajoules, okay? So it's quite quite a big stove in there. And then you've got the Bosch, you know, 10, 10 H out here too. And that's about 89 megajoules, okay? So total, you look at, you know, well over 100 and what, 30, 30 megajoules something, okay? But if you have a look at the gas main, this is the gas main here. I don't know if you can see it. It comes out in some weird, like, size 18 or something like that, and then drops down to the smaller pipe, goes down here, this tea here goes in to feed the stove at the bottom, uh, inside the, not the bottom, stove, stove inside there. And then the, then the smaller pipe goes up here, turns to 18 copper, then up to 20, and then goes into your hot water system. As you can see, there's no gas valve on it, okay? There's no isolation valve for the, for the old, um, for this one either. So what we've done in temporary, we just put an electric one in temporary while we've got a um, couple days, you know, to, to get it all sorted. And so, that pipe sizing from the meter box to, to the hot water system and the stove, because it's such a small pipe, it only allows for like 30 megajoules, and then you're running over 130 you know, megajoules on it. So this hot water system has never worked correctly, the stove has never been hot enough, and the owner doesn't know. If you put a stove in, you're not gonna know if it's, if it's hot or, you know, because you have got nothing to compare it to, okay? So whatever he paid wasn't enough, because it really just got ripped off. And the only, the only way, you know, to, ever get, it's, it's, it's just gonna catch up to you in the end. So either you'll have to replace it and get it sorted out properly, that's what we're doing today, or if you sell the house, the next person's gonna cop it in the neck. So it's never a great deal, make sure you get those three things, and we'll show you what we set up after this, after we've finished it, thanks. Okay, we're all done. Um, so the gas line is has been hooked up to the new stove here. I'll show you outside in a second. And what we've done too, these are the restraint chains that we've installed that that's you know bolted to the wall and I mean this this guy's got five five grandkids now right so if there's a big pot you know that grandma's cooking on the stove and and they're out here by himself they could pull this door down stand on top have a look inside and you think that you know how terrible that would be if, if that whole pot of water or whatever it was tipped onto them you know the terrible situation but now they're chained there no matter what they do that that stove's not moving and coming forward so it's very important that the, the chains are always installed also that um, we've We've actually, the hose has to be on a, on a nice loop like this and there has to be a chain so it can't be pulled any tighter. So we've put that on there as well. Um, so yeah, this is all going. And, and even with the four burners going um, on this one, the, all the largest ones, there's still plenty of gas pressure out to the hot water system, but we'll come outside and I'll show you that now. Okay, so underneath the meter out the front, because it's only low pressure in the street, we've uh, run up a 32 mil main up into the roof, run it right across the top of the roof. Um, right to here and then we've dropped down um, just up here into the last you know two meters in uh, 20 mil okay so we come down we've got a here's a line that goes to the uh, gas stove all hooked up with the chains and everything that you saw before um, new gas isolation valve new water isolation valve we've got rid of all the old tees and dodgy pipes and everything now before I get a phone call from one of you um, you know gas plumbers that you know know what they're doing it's less than three 300 from the door here okay but this door, we've, we've got three metal bars that are tech screwed in this. There's no way they can open this door. Okay, so that's, yeah, that's been sealed off, so that, that's all fine. 
So yeah, we stoked with that. Even with this hot water system going and three of the biggest burners on the stove inside working, still got bulk pressure. It's even got the old regulator in there, so it's still working well. Um, so yeah, really future proof it. So the only thing I've got to do now is give them uh, their invoice and their receipt and also their completion and compliance. And so everyone knows that it's us and it's our, you know, we're liable for it, that it's been, been done right. So yeah, they're, they're stoked and uh, safe again and got a hot water system that actually is working correctly. Okay, thanks for watching guys, appreciate it, and I'll see you later.